Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Hello if you are new. Welcome to the Good Vibe Tribe. I just got off of work. Today is Friday, March 31st, and I am going to take you guys along with me for a evening routine in my life after my corporate nine to five. I wanna show you guys some uh, new health hacks that I'm doing, some new things that I'm trying in my diet, as well as workout routine. Let's go. So obviously you just saw that I finished my workout a little bit ago doing some work, but so that workout totally kicked my butt. Um, I'm trying to get back into weightlifting and I don't know about you guys, but I have just been in a lull and lack of motivation with workouts. I have just been struggling to really push myself and get outside of my comfort zone. It's almost like I burnt myself out and nothing seems exciting anymore. <laughs> so I'm really trying, um, ever since moving to Springfield, it has been so hard for me to actually find a gym, to find a group, I don't know, that I feel like I just am passionate about and fit in. So, but I'm really trying to push myself outside of my comfort zone with working out because if there's not discomfort, there is no change. It's kind of like how fitness is a symbol of life. You have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. So the fact that you don't want to do these things at first, that fact that it does suck, the fact that you do feel like a beginner and trust me guys, I had all the negative self-talk in my head. Like I was just like, God, why am I doing this? It's your, it's your mind trying to talk you out of it. It's your mind trying to keep you safe. And you have to push through those barriers the same way that you have to do it in your life. You have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. When you do that, when you feel the discomfort and you lean into it, that's when you know you're on the right path. That's when you have to work on your mindset and your why has to be stronger than the discomfort. You cannot just lean into motivation. Motivation is bullshit. I think we all know that by now. Anyway, it just was a good reminder that what I'm doing, like I need to show up for myself every day. I need to do this for myself. So we'll see how it transcends into the rest of my life. But with that being said, um, I missed my dance class. Apparently it starts at six and it's six right now. So <laughs> we'll find out what else I'm gonna do instead. But my husband just got home and he bought me a chair for my loft. I'm so excited, my little spiritual loft up there. I'll show you guys whenever we put it up, but I'm super, super excited. A little pep talk for today. Wow. Yay. I'm not quite sure yet how I'm going to decorate it, but this is where we are at for now. And the animals love it. Alright guys, change of plans. I'm eating fruit. Um, I'm not going to go to the gym. Missed my dance class. So I'm just going to walk on the treadmill. Um, and my husband went to go to the store. So I don't have to go to the store. So I guess I'm really not leaving my home today. So this might not be an exciting what my night routine looks like. It's not really typical, but here we are. I'm just gonna walk and like read on my little walking pad. After that, we're making pasta chicky tonight for dinner. And I'll show you guys a green smoothie recipe that I've been doing. Side note, if you're tired, if you still feel sad, depressed, down, whatever you wanna call it, eat a little bit of fruit, It'll pick your energy back up. It literally holds, all food holds a vibration. Fruit being the highest, yes, has sugar. It's all natural sugar. But if you eat it in moderation and not like a crap ton at one point, it'll be fine. So, little pick me up. so here is my night routine nothing special it was not hair wash day obviously so I just washed my face with one of those makeup removers from Neutrogena 
And then I have been using castor oil. So what I do here is I rub this on my torso in a clockwise motion and I use the power of three. Essentially what this does is it helps, oh, my kitty cat, helps with digestion and then it detoxifies the liver. And of course we turn on the air diffusers. Gotta have that at night. Okay guys, so here is my green smoothie and this is what I've been trying. Um, and I'm also trying some sea moss. So, but I found this doctor on YouTube and her name was Brooke Boulder, I'm pretty sure. And she wrote a book called Bidding Lupus. And now not that I have lupus or anything, but the idea here is to basically heal your body with greens, basically flooding your body with nutrition. So I just packed a smoothie full of spinach, spring mix, some kale, and then I put powders in like maca, spirulina, and then camu powder. So I call this like a powerhouse smoothie. And I put a little bit of fruit in there just to make the medicine go down essentially. And then I just end my night on the couch cuddling with my hubby. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, we do cuddle and obviously he was in a cuddly mood tonight. But um, usually I'll end my night with a, a snack. So I got some fruit and then I usually edit or, or read just depending upon how I feel. But tonight I decided to read. I'm doing The Tablets of Light by Thoth. It's really good. Hey guys, what is up? Good morning. It is now Saturday morning, April 1st. So happy April Fool's Day. So last night, all I did was sit down on the couch. That's usually how I end my night uh, is editing, reading, just chilling sometimes, just decompressing. So that's pretty much my night. It didn't look exactly the same because I didn't go to the gym, I didn't go to the store, but I did show you guys uh, my healthy smoothie that I make and now I do drink that with dinner. It's just not my dinner. Anyways guys, I'm gonna close out the vlog here. I just got done with my workout. Now I have to go and get ready for Sarah Meta Saturday, Spiritual Saturday, and going in and working at the Spiritual Wellness Center. So I do that on the weekends and I have my corporate nine to five during the week. So it's a little bit of a balance. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I will shout at you later. Hopefully you enjoyed this vlog and I will catch you in the next one. Sending you all my light and all my love. We'll see you.